When Gerald Gamble was growing up in Jefferson, Texas, he thought he just lived in a house. He had not yet begun to understand the meaning of prime real estate. Uh, I say there was only three things to do as a kid in Jefferson, Texas. You went to school, you went to church, and you went to Boy Scouts. And of course, we enjoyed all of that. Of course, as we got older then, we would participate in sports or band. So it was just a small town, small town America. The attitude of my family was that one should participate in uh, activities that bettered the community. So we, we all did that, whether it was the Boy Scouts or the Campfire Girls or uh, beautification of the city. Now it's a small town, so you, everybody could participate. It's a very historic town. Uh, but it just instilled in us that we should make good grades, behave ourselves, and achieve that which you can achieve. And achieve he did. He displayed his talents of puppetry in college, became president of the National Student Association, utilizing his gift of leadership. He was recognized as the outstanding senior of his class and culminated his Phi Beta Kappa with a degree in letters, a tri-major of English, philosophy, and history. He was awarded the Woodrow Wilson Fellowship to study economics and history at Stanford, and upon completion of his master's degree there, he came home. After having the activity of real estate in undergraduate school, after graduating from Stanford, I came back and worked full-time in the real estate business brokerage business and went to night law school at OCU. I, I always wanted a law degree uh, and I really thoroughly enjoyed particularly the substantive courses. The procedural courses as far as moot trial and bibliography and uh, briefs, I, that wasn't my forte. I, I like the hard uh, substantive courses and it's really helped me in the real estate uh, brokerage activity. Uh, I, I know when I need a good lawyer. By the time he was out of law school, he'd been blazing a path in real estate for five years, then served his country in the Air Force Reserves, even pulling a few strings, working his way up to captain. Maybe it's not surprising that years later, he brokered a real estate deal involving Tinker Air Force Base. Well, one of the enjoyable uh, brokerage uh, deals that I worked on was the assemblage of the land for bringing the Navy to Tinker, the Navy E-6 Squadron. And I worked with the Corps of Engineers, the Chamber of Commerce, the Industrial Trust to put that land together and hold the options together. Actually, we held them for 18 months, getting everything arranged so that the land could be acquired to bring the Navy to Tinker. Jerry has hit some major home runs for the city, which propelled him into leadership of the Oklahoma City Chamber and back to one of his first loves, the Boy Scouts of America. Well, from a young age, we're invo involved in Boy Scouts. Uh, both my brother and I went through the ranks and got up to Eagle Scout. So it was a natural uh, involvement for me to be you know, act active in the Boy Scouts, which I was for a number of years before I served as president. But uh, the Boy Scout organization, I think, does the best job of training young men, and now young men and women in the upper ages, uh, of uh, civic duty and love of country, patriotism, and I just believe in it, and they do a great job. With the blessings of a successful career and service to our city, a bundle of blessings came his way when he married the love of his life, Oklahoma's sweetheart, Jane Giroux. Being married to Jane, you, you get to go to a lot of events that have beautiful girls, Miss Oklahoma, Miss America. Uh, of course, I, I was always taking the pictures of all these gals and uh, never was in the picture, so when the centennial celebration came around, I asked the five Miss Americas if, if I could have my picture taken with all of them, which is dead. Both Jerry and Jane share a love of Oklahoma City University, which in 1997 awarded Jerry the honorary degree of Doctor of Commercial Science. Jerry became a father and eventually a grandfather when he married Jane. They travel extensively, grandparent together, and are active at United Methodist Church of the Servant. I grew up in the Methodist Church in Jefferson, Texas. Uh, it's an important part of one's life to believe in a higher being, which I do. And it's important to have a doctrine of Christianity, which I believe in, uh, to uh, affect one's life. Faith, education, perseverance, hard work, patriotism, friendships, devotion to one's community, and the blessing of family. These are the patches in Gerald Gamble's quilt. These are the things that make an extraordinary life. Oklahoma City University's Minder School of Business is proud to award Gerald Gamble the Lifetime Achievement Award.